It's videos like this that make it why I say and suggest for you to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell so YouTube can notify you when there's important videos along with the other videos. And this is probably one of the most important videos if you're a WordPress user that you could watch today. There have been a lot of security vulnerabilities recently going around with WordPress plugins. And I really started seeing it just a couple days ago on Facebook. People that I highly respect in their skills of creating websites and managing those websites saying, I just had 10 websites hacked. I just had 15 websites hacked. And I paid attention to it. And you know the thought that went through my mind? That's not going to happen to me. I am vigilant about updating, keeping everything updated. I stay, pay attention to the news. Um, I even have a firewall, security firewall app on my websites. And I thought, <laughs> I, I feel for these people, but this isn't going to happen to me. I woke up today, went to the gym. I've been doing that this year. I went to the gym, came home. I went to one of my websites and I clicked on a link and it went to some pornography site and I knew immediately that I had a big problem on my hands. Now, fortunately, I had a backup. I'm very vigilant about that as well. I have a backup every four hours off site and I'll have a video in the link below uh, in the video description below on how to create an offsite backup completely for free. And it's something that you should make sure that you do right now. Anyways, long story short, it was easy for me. I just went to my backups and I restored a backup and I was fine, but I still didn't know what caused the problem. And so uh, I was kind of worried about that. Anyways, fast forward a few hours, it turns out that there is a security vulnerability in a plugin called Social Warfare, which happens to be a plugin that I am using on my site. However, two days ago, there was a problem with uh, Easy SMTP, which I don't use on my site. Now, I noticed this hack so quick that the web host didn't even know about it. Now, all this uh, hack did was it would change some of the links when someone would come to my website and click on something, it would take them someplace else. So that's how I noticed it immediately. Guys, I want you to know the very best way to prevent a problem like this is to have your own backup that is not dependent. You're not counting on your web host to create for you or some web developer or just somebody, a family member. No, a backup that you have created that's off site that you know where it is and you know how to restore that is everything for keeping safe and secure okay so here is an article on this vulnerability that literally was published so recently there's no comments on it and you probably want to pay attention to the word fence blog they are one of the quickest to respond to security vulnerabilities like this and have information because they're monitoring such a large amount of websites. Now, when they do have a blog post, they're really just marketing their service to you by basically saying, uh, if you had this, we, we've noticed this going on and we've put a patch out. So if you're a paid customer, you get that patch. That's what these are really saying. Uh, so the, pro pl the problem plugin was Social Warfare. Uh, and uh, I happen to have this on my website. There's a free version in the repository right here. Now, WordPress itself was very quick to respond to it. Uh, they nearly immediately took it out of the repo so people couldn't install it on their website. The point of this video isn't social warfare at all. This is just the plugin that had the problem. Now, I don't know the details of this vulnerability, if it's something that they should have been on top of, but it just really goes to show how important it is to make sure that when you're installing a theme or a plugin, not that you keep them updated, that's a given, but that you, you are using 
plugins that are made by people that are going to stick with it. People that, oh, there's a guy that's going to regret it. Sorry, Brian. He said, Brian just bought this 11 hours ago. Brian, you're going to regret that. I actually disabled and I'm removing this plugin. I don't need it. My page builder Elementor can do all the stuff that this can do. I, that's just one less plugin to have on my website. But the point is that uh, you want to use software from reputable developers that you know are on top of it. There's a business behind what they're doing. So they have an incentive to respond to these things and audit their plugins when a vulnerability becomes known. I saw on Facebook today, it was a link that a guy named Adam posted, a great name. And I clicked on it and it was a list of like uh, I think it was like over 300 plugins that currently have this similar vulnerability. And I thought it's just a reminder that whatever you choose to put on your website, there's uh, you, you want to use the stuff that you know people are going to be on top of. And that's it. Uh, and try to really decide before you add another plugin, is this someone that's going to stay on top of the plugin? That's why I like to use paid plugins because they have this financial incentive to stay on top of things and their business is really on the line. Lastly, point of this video is just because you have a firewall plugin on your website, it doesn't mean that your website might not have a problem at some point. I did. I had an app, a firewall app called WebArx, uh, W-E-B-A-R-X, -E and it didn't protect me at all uh, from this security problem didn't protect me at all. So um, what did save the day for me though was having backups. I have a backup every four hours. I have a link to that video down below. Do it right now. Audit all of your websites. Make sure you have regular backups that are off-site that you control. Do not trust your web host. Lastly, I'm pretty sure if my website was on a more premium managed WordPress hosting provider that I probably wouldn't have had this problem. And that's because they tend to be more proactive. They're noticing these things happening. They're informing their customers. They're watching this stuff for you and you pay for that. You pay extra. So on my website, wpcrafter.com slash hosting, you can go there and see some of the best managed WordPress hosting providers. I should probably switch to some of them myself. These are the providers that are on top of things so that you don't have to, and you pay a premium for that. Uh, so uh, maybe lesson learned, I should be paying that premium. My web hosting bill already is about 80 bucks a month. If I move to one of those, it might be two or 300 bucks a month, but I wouldn't have to deal with little things like this because they already have a team of experts already doing it. So you can check out that hosting link um, and uh, see some of those managed WordPress hosting providers. So long story short, uh, I don't want to see this happen to you. Your best protection is a backup. Make sure you do it today. Hey, share this video with someone. There's a lot of talk going around about this. A lot of people are having their websites have problems today. And so backup would have solved it. Although I think I could have maybe disabled the plugin. Uh, I, I think though that I still would have had problems even if I disabled it. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Share it with someone that you care about. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notification bell so when urgent things like this happen, you get notified first. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.